Underneath this blanket is my first real PC build. What is a real PC build, you may ask? Well, if you've been following along with my channel, most of my PC builds have been based on office computers. Dell Optiplexes, Lenovo ThinkStation, small form factors, and even as of late, Xboxes. So I decided to take it a step further and build a real gaming PC with a real PC chassis, RGB, cable management, power cords, IO shields, motherboards. I wanted to do the whole thing from start to finish. So I guess it's time to reveal what I did. Here we go. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We're not going to be giving away the goods that easily. You're going to have to watch the rest of the video to see how it turned out. And while you're at it, why don't you uh, like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. All right, so kicking things off with the motherboard, we'll do just a quick montage here since this is actually the same motherboard build I used for my Xbox PC video. And if you haven't seen that one yet, click right here and check that out. I'll leave the link in the description below as well. So for specs, we have an MSI B450M Pro Max 2 AM4 board I got for $70, keeping things on a budget. We're using a Ryzen 5 5600G CPU and its stock cooler I got for $124. I went with the APU again because of my Xbox PC video. I'll be using a dedicated graphics card in this build, however. 16 gigabytes of DDR4, 3200 megahertz RAM. This came free with the CPU I bought off of Newegg, which was a $40 value. Pretty decent in my opinion. And a 256 gig M.2 SSD for $24. I could have opted for more storage, but wanted to keep this pretty budget. And this is enough to test a few games with. Moving on to the case. This is the Inland X1 Black case with RGB fans. I actually got this at Micro Center for $50. One of the cheaper ones they had there. Again, trying to keep this all on a budget. So went with this case because it looked nice and it would fit the motherboard and had everything I needed so that's what we went with. the power supply, I went with a Thermaltake Smart Series 500 watt. This is actually the same one I used in that Xbox build. Obviously not meant for the Xbox as much as it is for this build here. So perfect use case for this power supply, fit right in the case, and will supply obviously the power I need for everything that I'm doing with this build. So after getting the power supply in there, moving on to the IO shield, just snapping that into place, no big deal there. And then obviously getting the motherboard to fit in as well, you know, just sliding that in, making sure it lined up with the IO shield, making sure that my risers lined up properly and all look good there. And now for the GPU, I went with a Radeon RX 6600. I got this at Micro Center as well. It was on sale, $190. Decent price for a new graphics card. Not the most powerful graphics card. Still kind of in that budget range, but you know, felt like this would be a good fit for this build. Matched the CPU well, and I was excited to try an AMD card, honestly. I've mainly been using Nvidia, so I was excited to try out AMD and see what they had to offer here with this RX 6600. All right, so now let's take a look at my cable management. Slip off the back plate here. How's it look? How did I do? How's my cable management look? Please be gentle. Time for the big reveal. How we looking? So I tried to do a cool plastic film reveal montage here, but failed miserably. The four screws and the tempered glass had to come off. The film was on both sides, so I couldn't just do the one peel and make it look awesome. But uh, here's this anyway. The next best thing you could get, I suppose. Overall, I thought it came out looking pretty good. I wound up doing a little more cable management after I took this footage here, but it looks great, and now it's time to test to see how it plays. All right, kicking things off with Fortnite, I tested a few different settings here, starting off with 1440p custom settings, kind of what the game wants you to start with. Uh, around 40, 50 FPS, not the best, but then we switch it to an 144 frames per second cap on low settings, and we're just about hitting that 140, 40 frames, no problem, uh, which is pretty awesome to see. Um, then we switch over to medium settings, you know, you, you drop a few frames per second there, but you're still hovering around high 90s, 100s. Then you hit high settings and you drop back down to mid 50s, uh, low 60s if you're lucky. Um, 
not terrible, but um, obviously you need to tweak the settings to, to what you prefer, if you want higher FPS or higher quality. Um, here we're trying performance mode. Obviously, if you want max FPS, you want to go performance mode. I mean, you can see I'm just about hitting that 144 cap. My monitor can only go up to 144. So overall, pretty great experience with Fortnite. Next up, we have Elden Ring 1440p high settings. Can't complain about this experience. The game is capped at 60 FPS, so we're getting, you know, mid mid 50s to 60. Really great experience, high settings. You know, the quality looks good. The performance is good. You know, I can see myself enjoying perusing the lands between on this PC build, without a doubt. And then we have God of War 1440p high with FSR quality on hovering around high 70s low 80s super smooth quality looks great you can see i got a whole bunch of visuals going on here with the fire uh, i forgot what this weapon is the, the fire spinny weapon i got um destroying these enemies now we're getting to 100 now we turn fsr off you start dipping down into the high 60s low 70s but i mean for games like these anything above 60 fps is just going to look great so um, really enjoyed my time playing with this PC. And next up, just wanted to run the Time Spy benchmark. We did wind up getting a score of 7625. Pretty good. I was hoping for something a little bit higher, but um, still really good score. The graphics score 7699, CPU score 7236. Um, overall, really solid for a $500 PC. Comes out to be around, you know, less than 10 cents per point on this build. So solid, solid value there. So again, I can't say enough about this build. So how do you think I did? I gotta be honest, I feel like I did all right. I think it was a pretty successful first real gaming PC that I put together here. And the main thing for me was I had a lot of fun putting it together. So you're probably gonna see a lot more videos of me putting builds together because man, it's a lot of fun. I can see why people get into this. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. A lot more stuff coming your way on Pete's Parts. Stick around to the channel. Appreciate you all up to this point. And uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks a lot. See you then.